What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie, Futuristic Mike. Welcome back to another Tyler Perry's Ruthless video. Now, we just got to talk about Oliver and Lacey at the end of the midseason finale. That was crazy, man. I couldn't believe it. But if you're a fan of Ruthless, hit the like on this video. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're finding me, subscribe and turn on those post notifications so when I post videos on Tyler Perry's Ruthless, you get them. Now, the end of the midseason finale was crazy. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe that the highest actually went through with that. I know he's done some crazy things in the past. You know, he's slaughtered some people in the woods for escaping. He's done many, many crazy things. You know, he rapes River. He slaps the hell out of Ruth. He takes his sword and he cut Daikon's wrist or whatever. But this right here was the ultimate extreme, man. He went to extreme lengths to prove a point in this episode. You know, he's telling everybody that they cannot try to escape. If they do, they're dead. He really took this sword and put it in Oliver's back as Oliver was having sex with Lacey. He made Oliver have sex with Lacey first after Oliver admitted that him and her were having sex for a while. You know, he made them do that in front of him. And then he took his sword as he was on top of her and he put it through Oliver's back. You heard Lacey scream, so you don't know if it hit Lacey or not, but how could it not hit Lacey? That sword is really long. It's not like it's a little sword. So if it goes through Oliver's back, of course it's going to reach down to Lacey, and both of them are probably most likely dead, but I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. you only seen it go through Oliver. You've seen blood coming out his back. He's definitely dead. 100% he has to be dead. But if you guys think differently, let me know. Comment down below, but he has to be dead. I don't know, that scene just messed me up, man. It really did. Um, that was a sad episode. I was hoping Oliver and Lacey would escape, but it didn't happen. I really was hoping they would escape. The highest is crazy as hell. He's a lunatic, a psychotic human being. He needs to be stopped ASAP because if he's not stopped, shit like this is going to keep happening. And I mean, damn, man, this was crazy as hell. I can't believe Oliver just got killed off like that. I mean, honestly, I really liked Oliver's character. He was on here for a while. You know, the second half of season one is when he came on. He was on all of season two. He was beginning to become one of my favorite characters, but he just got killed off like that, just like that, in the snap of a finger. You know, maybe if Lacey wouldn't have kept talking and she wouldn't have opened her mouth, she could have had a chance of surviving. You know, Elder Mother told the highest all that stuff and it pissed him off. Lacey should have just kept her big mouth shut, honestly. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think Lacey and Oliver are dead? Or do you think it's just Oliver? Comment your thoughts down below. What do you think? Did this episode mess you up like it did me? I want to know all your thoughts because this was crazy. This was one of the craziest episodes yet in my opinion, man. It was definitely really insane. Tyler Perry got some crazy stuff going on in this show right here, man. And if cults are really like this, then damn, that is nuts. But let me know your thoughts down below. I'm not sure when Ruthless is going to be coming back because I'm pretty sure we're on a break now. But as soon as I find out the information, I'll let you guys know. Hopefully it's not too long, though. They always wait until like November or something. But keep supporting your boy and I'll be continuing to bring you all Tyler Perry's Ruthless content in the future. Make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe and smash the notification bell so you can never miss a video. If you guys want to donate to the channel, I got links below to the PayPal and Cash App accounts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me get out of here, y'all. It's your boy, Futuristic Mike, and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.